So here's the new uh, heating element that I've built for vacuum freeze drying food. Um, it's laser cut, all the plywood stuff you see, and then there's some uh, stainless wires that are running between the holes um, in the stainless ring. And then there's some spirals of uh, nichrome wire above and below each layer. There's one heater on the bottom, two, three, four. And then there's three shelves for fruit and stuff. So if this uh, roll of nichrome wire were a piece of mango, then it would be sitting, well, it would be sitting flat. Actually, it's pretty bit of uh, apple analog. It kind of looks like a slice of apple. Um, so I can stack up on these the shelves, one, two, three shelves, and then they get heated from the top and the bottom to drive off the ice. Um, it goes into this stainless steel pot, and something I found playing with the thermal camera is that stainless steel is an excellent infrared reflector. Um, so this whole um, heating element array uh, is uh, in total about 3 ohms, so it hits the limits of my um, 30 amp. Uh, 30 volt 10 amp desktop power supply um, but the bottom element uh, puts out half as much heat as the other ones um, because um, each of the top three elements uh, is heating uh, one side of a piece of fruit um, or the top one's heating one side each of the two middle ones are heating the underside of one and the top of another but the bottom one is only heating the underside of one but all of the heat it's emitting downwards is being reflected straight back up again. Um, so if I made them all the same heat output, then the bottom of the bottom slice would be getting double the IR of every other surface. Um, so I've balanced the resistances such that the bottom one puts out half the heat. Um, I'll put in a thermal video of this thing heating up uh, now. Um, I don't know how long that video is, so I'm just going to continue talking and say how cool it looks that all the springs are glowing orange and how the vertical stainless posts are um, also glowing. I ran through this a few times, so the vertical posts are already a bit warm when I started. And um, also note that the... Well, I don't really know where I'm up to in the video, so I'm just going to stop talking. Enjoy the rest of the thermal video. Bye-bye.